Hey everybody, my name is Gatama, welcome back for another video of Civilization 6, we're going to continue this series. Now, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to restart uh, from nothing, I'm going to re uh, redo everything, boys, because I couldn't load up the save file, I couldn't just, I wasn't able to actually go into the save file and do stuff properly, and uh, it kind of pissed me off a little bit, so I tried, I, I said, you know what, I'm going to retry. The problem is, one of the problem, uh, many problems I think is, too many civilizations at once i think it couldn't the game just couldn't handle having uh all these civilizations like 40 54 of them uh they, you could see a lot of them had no colors on them no palettes whatsoever it was kind of tough uh, so i kind of want to have uh, a better game where it's most st more stable and stuff like that we're going to do some few tweaks we're not going to use the same map we're going to use a different map it's still the earth though I'm going to be playing as the same characters, same uh, guy, Kublai Khan, Kublai Khan from Mongolia. Uh, making sure that uh, Embryoix, Alexander and John Corton are all there. Uh, I want to see them in there. Uh, the rest is pretty much really different. Uh, a couple of stuff different. Resor uh, quantity resource is abundant now. I've got a, a, some brand new mods where uh, it's going to be a little bit more interesting for me and stuff like that. Uh, I've got uh, faster sea travel, all these uh, stuff like that, right? There's a couple of uh, things that uh, have been upgraded. Over here, we are going to be equipping apocalypse uh, mode on, uh, alongside of zombie mode. Uh, that's going to compensate for me not playing Barbarian Clans mod. I wasn't a big fan of Barbarian's Clans boys, so I think I'm just going to let that go and, st and instead go for the apocalypse mod, which seems like a, a more interesting one. Unless I don't go for it, may I mean I could uh, I I would have the option to just not go for the apocalypse mod, but uh, you know we'll uh, we'll bring it in. I guess it's just gonna make things a little bit more interesting. I guess you know what? Let's not do that then. Uh, I kind of don't want to do that. I don't want to bring any pro any problems to to the sir uh, the thing or anything. So we're just gonna get zombies in there, heroes and monopolies. I guess so it's gonna be enough. Uh, w the rest, loyal capitals, just like last time. This time around, no duplicate civilization, just to make sure that there's no problems that are coming ahead. We're gonna have 18 city states, it's uh, 47 civilization slots, which is exactly the maximum amount of civilizations actually we got in the game. Uh, if we don't count the double, uh, the double ones, so. Uh, I think we're good here. Already saved out the configuration. If I want to go back and do it again. Uh, disaster intensity we're gonna put that down a little bit we're gonna put that at two there we go just like that we're gonna do ancient era chieftain in online game speed which means it's gonna be a bit faster so let's go into it boys all right we're in boys uh it just took me 10 minutes to load up the actual safe uh, the actual uh, game but uh we finally did it we finally made it so Let's, uh, let's hope that this time around I'm going to be able to load up the save files and everything and I'm going to be able to play the game properly. Just hope so, right? We're just going to have to let the game play a little bit right here though. Let the game so uh, save up because right now it's taking a, a bit of a long time so we're just going to make sure right here that uh, everything's right. The game, as you can see, it's loading up. It's having a tough time. Really having a tough time. I think uh, Civ 6 needs one... Well. The problem is, is I have one of the worst PCs out there in terms of gaming. So obviously I'm having a tough time with every single game possible. But it doesn't help out that Civ 6 is one of the, one of those games that is very unstable. So it's really frustrating. You got, I gotta work it out, I guess. It's just how it is. God damn. What just happened right there? The black screen. Okay. All right, game. Chill out. Jesus. The game's really having a tough time loading up stuff. All right. You shut the hell up, uh, advisor, please, continue. Can we go in, please? God damn, it's still loading up. Look at how much time it takes, boys, for my units to actually load up, do something. Like, it, it's ridiculous. There we go, finally. There we go, we're good now. All right, so let's just hope that all my mods are going to be working. I just hope so. We're starting with the two, 2,000 of gold, right? So we're just gonna uh, we're just gonna uh, hope that everything works. So we're gonna settle here. Obviously, it's telling us to go here, so we're definitely gonna do that. Our first city right here. We're gonna start it up. I I pressed it. Please. Oh my God. All right, game. 
The game is having a tough time, boys. Holy shit. All right, there it is. So the city right there. Xanadu, our first city, or actually Beijing. What? Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. Uh, normally, it would be Xanadu for us, but it's uh, the city uh, is going to be named after the location that it's at. So right now, it's Beijing, our capital. Okay, that's quite interesting. So that, let's just hope that everything's all right right here. Uh, let me actually go on that direction with that warrior unit. Please stop lagging for two seconds and advisor, don't bother me. Because you know damn well it's going to be a rough time. Alright, so let's just get these things going right here. There we go. Plus 5 gold, everything. So, uh, first research. What do we want to go for? We obviously want to go for anis Animal Husbandry, boys. First thing that we want to go for. Choose a production. Uh, we can quickly purchase that uh, monument right away. So, that's already done. Uh, what, first per what first thing do we want to go for right here? I think we want to go for a scout or a builder maybe. No, I think a scout would be the best option right now to, to research, boy. So that's obviously the first thing we want to do. Uh, I am going to do just like last time. Uh, I, I'm going to equip a mod every single turn, boys. Uh, or uh, use a, one of those cheats every single turn. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just promote that unit right here. That's uh, my first cheat for today. Promote that unit right there. We don't have anything to build, so I don't need a builder right now. We got some good stuff going on right here. We gotta, we're gonna have to build a dam eventually. That's for sure. Once we get the research, though, because that's uh, that might be flooding territory right here. So we gotta be careful about that. Otherwise, though, seems like a really nice fortification type of thing where we're gonna be looking to have a lot of um, of defense with fleets and stuff like that. All right, so there we go, boys. He keeps talking. I think the game's lagging quite a lot, boys, right now. It's really, uh, really having a tough time handling stuff. So we got our first civilization that we uncovered, which is obviously the Chinese. So we're right beside them, Xi'an, uh, for them. We got another uh, cheat, obviously, we can use right here. So I don't know exactly what we want uh, to do with that. I think uh, we're starting off. I got that... Um, basically, I got a mod that's equipping me, right? That is giving me more... Uh, from the beginning is giving me more production, more everything from that. So that's fantastic on that hand. I think what I might want to do, I'm already working on the scout. I don't need any builders right now. So I think I might just want to maybe get another warrior unit. Not right now at least. I think I just want to upgrade my unit as much as possible right here. So let's just do Tortoise right here. And uh, that's pretty much it. Let's uh let's uh, talk to them. Let's talk to the Chinese. We reject your offer. So they want they don't want any delegation right now. What I might want to be tempted to do is just uh, as quickly as possible try and take them over. If I see some black uh, black stuff right, the no colors or anything, that's a that's a a problem right here. That's one of the civilizations that's gonna have a problem. Uh, with the save file and everything, so I want to take them out as quickly as possible. Plus, they're one of my main rivals, Mongolians versus Chinese, right? So, I might want to take them out as quick as possible, boys. Take their resources out. Korea just uncovered us. Alright, the Koreans, let's go. We just uncovered them, it looks like, or they uncovered us. They are probably right here. This is the Korean Sea, obviously. So they're probably right there, boys, in their, uh, their uh, natural region. Don't know uh, how they uncovered us. Probably some scouts or something. Uh, we got this guy. I think I do. I really do want to just attack this guy real quick. I feel like I do. Yeah, I see some borders right here. So that might be uh, what's going on here. Okay, so in one turn, we're going to have the scout. I think what I want to do, I'm gonna, I want to go right here with that builder, boys. And uh, I want to get another one. I want to get, uh, not builder, but I, I want to get another warrior unit right here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to uh, spawn another one right here. Just like that. That's going to be our cheat uh, for the for this turn right here. Let's see real quick. Man, it's having a tough time. All right. So we're going to go ahead and attack them right away. Declare a war. I'm going to have a lot of uh, grievances, but uh, only from... Um, I guess the Koreans perspective because it's the only other country that knows of me right now so we're good on that side we can do whatever we want it's the perfect time now we gotta move out quick boys we gotta take them out quick all right let's take uh let's take them out quick 
Man, I can't do it. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's just go right here. Start attacking. There we go. I got two warrior units. This city is pretty weak from the beginning. We're just gonna take them out real quick, boys, before they get the chance of a uh, uh, of expanding or whatnot. And they're actually gonna raise their city to the ground. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, boys. I don't even want to take their city right now. It's kind of useless. Uh, I just want to wait a little bit. I just want to take them out as quickly as possible, basically. All right, well, we got some couple of stuff uh, going on from this turn. Barbarians approaching our borders, boys. Volcano being active, so this volcano is active right now. We got some, uh, uh, well, it's not barbarians, it's actually zombies popping up right here. We've got our scout available. Uh, I'm just going to send my scout to that direction right here on the north. He's going to cover this region first. And uh, we're going to keep attacking over here. There we go. Just keep attacking this guy. Uh, we good here? There we, yeah, there we go. There we go. Keep attacking. Keep attacking. Now, I can't defend my territories right here. But I do have a cheat available. So, I could always just get the slinger or whatnot. Do we have anything new, really? Not yet. It's still two turns for Animal Husbandry. And uh, Code of Laws is one turn. So, I think I'm, I'm just going to work on the builder then. I think that's what I'm just going to end up doing. Uh, I am going to go for the Slinger now, though. Definitely go for the Slinger while we're at it. So, where's the Slinger at? Uh, just got to find him really quick. Where, uh, where is he at? There we go. There he is, boys. So, going to get a Slinger. Spawn a Slinger right here. That's perfect. And uh, we are going to be using you. Well, can we actually attack you? Doesn't seem, seem like we can actually attack you right now. Uh, attack the, uh, the zombies just yet. So, just going to have to wait it out, it looks like. And that's pretty much it for now. I think the Koreans might have the, the same problem. Here's why I don't like why I don't like these types of uh, things, right? Where these types of countries that uh, civilizations that have no borders or whatever have no colors. That's because I can't actually I can't see the, um, the, uh, the the their units. Their units are completely invisible to me. Like I, I can see on the map where they are, but I can't like make a difference whether they're any uh, friend, uh, friendly or not so that's a problem that's a real problem because if they did when i'm at war with them i just can't tell where they are so that's why i kind of want to deal with them as quickly as possible because i don't want to have to deal with them later on while uh they're they have all these big time units and stuff right a lot of zombies at, like popping up right now look at that uh, I've got a big zombie problem over Beijing right now. This is not good. Is All right, Code of Law is done. So we're starting to really move on right here. Let's keep attacking right here. Keep attacking right here. There we go. There we go. I got to really protect my city. There's not a lot I can do right here. Uh, new civilization or just... No. Okay, just a tribal village. Yeah, you really got to do something right here. Uh, I can attack this unit right here. It's uh, It's not easy, boys. It's just a lot of stuff right now. Choose a new civic. So now that we got that done, uh, this civic done, the first one, we're going to do uh, foreign trade. We also have, we can actually uh, equip something right here. So versus barbarians, I'm going to equip that, obviously. And get uh, more gold for faith and pro production for, for the cities. And uh, look at that now. It's at plus six, plus six for gold as well. Just from this city alone, we're moving out quite nicely. Uh, what's my next cheat that I kind of want to use? I think I want to upgrade this unit right here just to make sure that it heals itself up. All right. So uh, I think we're going to be fine versus the zombies. We just need to be careful here. They shouldn't be able to attack me too much. Uh, I think my slinger is going to be able to handle them. As soon as we're done with the Chinese, we're going to send back these uh, two warrior units over here to deal with this uh, this whole uh, this zombie problem. As we finish the animal husbandry right here, you can see the zombies are actually kind of helping me a little bit right here they kind of helped me they attacked the city as well of xian so that's uh, that's just helping me out in the long run there we go there's an upgrade right there uh that's perfect we just destroyed one of the units uh we do have a new research that we can do let's uh go into it i want to go for obviously these things always want to go for these things uh granary is quickly researchable i think i want to go for mining first right anything that i can build and uh, we really need to uh, make sure that we get stuff. So we got some resources here that we can get. Uh, we even got some minor research, mining resources. I'm just going to take out this, uh, this city with, uh, or with my units right here. My two, my two warrior units. Go inside, buddy. Take it out. 
Take Zeon out. It's taking forever, man. The game is having a tough time uh, loading up the gameplay itself. All right, we did it, boys. We took out the city. It took forever. It took like at least two minutes for a thing that should be taking 10 seconds. I swear I need to upgrade my uh, my my PC or something. I don't know what's going on, but uh, having a really tough time right now. I think with this game specifically, it's it's really tough to play this game, boys, with my PC that I've got on. I've got a garbage PC. I can't believe it. All right, we got a, a, a free builder from that. Uh, we are obviously gonna get rid of uh, Xeon, or I might be keeping it, you know, I could keep Xeon and actually try and defend it from the zombies and try and uh, build upon these resources, which are really good. I've got a lot of luxury resources and stuff, so I could do that. I could do that, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we've got a bonus right here, so I think I what I could do as well is literally just use that slinger right here. Build one up right here, right away. So we got something to protect us, right? So that's thing. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna, yeah. I'm gonna keep the city up. I'm gonna keep that city. We're gonna attack that. Um, there we go. That uh, scout right here, or not that scout, but that zombie with it, with my scout, and manage to do something. Uh, that uh, builder is gonna have to go over here eventually. We're gonna have to move him out. These guys are gonna be good. I think that's pretty much it. For Xeon right here, so since we got two cities already, just like that, boys, that's pretty cool. That's pretty uh, good. Now, there's a lot of zombies. The zombie problem is actually even worse than the previous one. Not gonna lie right here. I thought uh, I thought it would be decent, you know, we won't have too many problems, but it looks like uh, this is uh, gonna be a rough one a little bit. All right, so unit needs orders. I think I'm just gonna... Here's the thing, I can't really do anything with you, right? Okay, so I, I had to move him somewhere at least. Okay, I got you, game. So that's pretty much it. We don't have anything right now. We got a builder. Uh, I am going to need to spawn the builder right here, or at least send him over. I think he can, uh, we can use him. I'm going to uh, do next turn. We can use him for this right here, for the wheat uh, resource. And uh, after that, we can send him over here. It's not a lot, still not a lot of resources right now we can do. Uh, a lot of luxury resources, like I said, but these things I can't actually do anything with them just yet. How am I supposed to survive against that? My city is being sieged, the brand new one that I just got. Like, I might just have to actually abandon this place. I don't have anything to, re like, protect myself right now. I have two warrior units, one that's basically gonna die. Uh, let's, I, let's use him, because we don't have a choice right now, but, like, I, I literally cannot do anything right now. This. This shit's ridiculous. I'm nearly encircled. The fuck? I'm encircled like crazy right now. Let me yeah, let me take care of everybody, I guess. But there's nothing I can do right now except from trying to defend myself as best I can. This shit's ridiculous. Alright, let's keep moving with my scout right here. There's a lot of zombies. Yeah, the zombie problem is a lot more efficient this time around than the previous one. The previous one, uh, the, the previous uh, fall that we had. Zombies weren't really a much of a problem. Right now, they are a problem. Look at that shit. They're everywhere. They're goddamn everywhere. That shit's ridiculous. What do we do now, man? How do we defend ourselves? I don't even know how to defend myself. I gotta be honest here. I don't have anything. I gotta have another builder. This builder is gonna die. So I gotta build another one. Because this one's gonna die, yeah. My city is basically going to... This city is going to die. It's going to get out. Uh, shit. I, I need to heal up this unit. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's, uh, let's use uh, that our cheat for the, the for this. Let's get uh, this unit upgraded, I guess. I need, to, I need to heal him up. There's not a lot I can do right now other than just try and survive. This shit is obviously ridiculous. I can't move out my, my, um, my guy right, uh, either. Can't move out that unit. This is not good. What am I supposed to do right here? Oh my god. This is uh, really not good, boys. I'm gonna try and move out my builder as much as possible, but he's stuck right now. Xeon is literally being sieged by like a hundred zombie units. They're spawning out out of nowhere as well. They're spawning out really everywhere. That shit's... What the hell, man? What are the Koreans or any, anybody else doing right now? I don't know how that's possible. They gotta have like one, two, or three separate places that they're spawning from. Alright, so 
I've caused them some grievances. The Koreans, they're not too happy with me uh, basically defeating Chinese, the Chinese right here. It looks like we got a brand new civilization or it's just a city state uncovered. My city is going to be down. Yeah, my city is done for. Yeah, they just they just basically uh, threw down my city big time right now. It's basically over for Xi'an boys. I don't think they can actually destroy the city. I think they can... I think all they can do is actually just actually destroy it, but they can't like they, they can't get rid of the city itself. So I think that's what's going on right here. Let me try my best right here to deal with these bastards. Uh, there we go. Finish them off, man. Oh, my builder is stuck right now. My builders got them stuck. Let me uh, send this guy over. Deal with that. Uh, there we go. That warrior unit right there. My uh, that guy has got a promotion volley. There we go. We've got another builder. I'm going to send him over here. There we go. I need to build some stuff, but too many zombies. Zombies everywhere. They're really a big time problem right now. I got I to gotta go here, do some stuff. I'm gonna, probably going to lose that unit, to be honest. But, uh, let's go over here with my scout. A lot of stuff happening, right? I, I just lost a warrior unit from that bullshit. Uh, I got only one warrior unit left. I gotta, I gotta um, use uh, or spawn another one right here. So that's what we, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna spawn uh, another one right here. Just spawn another one right here. Yeah, my city is really having a tough time. Everything's gonna be up. We just uncovered this right here. This uh, natural uh, wonder. We got a, a a hero available. That's perfect. Let me uh, send this guy right here. Boom! All right, there we go. Use that uh, unit right here to do as much as possible. Choose a production. All right, so we do need a new production. I'm definitely going to go and devote myself to that unit because I'm going to need a, that special unit big time right now. I'm having a tough time, boys. Really a tough time. How much turns is it going to be until the next era? A lot of turns probably, right? I imagine. 13 turns to 20 turns. Actually, it's not uh, not too bad, boys. It's actually going pretty quick. Yeah, uh, Mongolians. Yeah, I'm having a tough time. I need to rebuild this city, but uh, it's not going to be good. Amenity uh, is all the way down because we keep getting attacked everywhere. I could, like, try and quickly purchase somebody here. I can't do it for some reason. So uh, I'm kind of clueless right now, boys. Kind of uh, on the, in the middle of a goddamn war, basically, against the zombies. They got to stop spawning out of nowhere, too. You know, I, I'm trying my best, but that's too many units to deal with right now. All right, so we got some new resources and everything, boys. Look at that. We got the hero right here. So we got him. We got a hero, at least. Uh, he's going to have to deal with these guys real quick. He's actually a, a range unit. Okay, so we got a range unit as a hero. That's uh, that's just fine, I guess. Let's deal with these guys. This is a problem, boys. This is really a big time problem. Let's go over here, build that farm. I gotta try and build up these cities, but it's so tough right now. Uh, we got a promotion from the, uh, for for my scout unit right there. Perfect. We got a yeah new production basically uh, for Beijing right now. What do we do with it? Uh, I don't exactly know, boys. We got two population. I don't want to get another city right now because I actually don't know uh, don't know where these goddamn zombies are coming from. I mean, new units spawning out of nowhere, everywhere. So I think what I want to do... I mean, they're telling me to go for the settler. They want me to go for the settler, but I think it's a really bad idea. I just really think it's a bad idea, boys. So I think I want to just go for instead uh, another warrior unit or another scout, maybe. Just get the scouts. Yeah, just get another scout. Uh, I'm going to get uh, th uh, this guy right here is going to die if I do anything with it. Uh, I do need have a promotion for this unit. This guy right here, you're just going to get uh, get working on my resources and stuff. You are going to go over here. Move right here. Die at, uh, if you must. We're going to move you right here to protect yourself. I'm going to have to heal him up because uh, obviously there we go. Just heal him up, boys. Just so he's, he's going to be good. So that's my cheat uh, for the turn, I guess. Just healing him up. My city is growing again, but they keep attacking me. So there's not much I can do. Uh, rebuilding the walls is going to be... Or the monument is going to be 
uh, done in one turn. So we're going to be able to focus next turn on a lot of stuff. I mean, we got, we're going to have mining done and foreign trades as well. We're going to be able to do some trades if there's no zombies around just messing around uh, with us, right? So this is rough, but I, uh, I, I'm really doing my best to survive right now, boys. This is uh, it's like I'm in per perpetuous war or something. They, the, those zombies, they got to leave me alone or something. All right, so we got mining that's done and we got foreign trade. So that's fantastic for us. But right now, it seems like we really just got to keep it going uh, right here. Keep it moving. There we go. Keep my well, all my warrior units moving. I'm going to attack this uh, unit right here. Even my scouts got to do the work, uh, boys. There's not a lot I can do right here. Go over here. Protect everything. Uh, you are going to handle this guy right here. Boom. Just like that. He's finished up. Uh, you're going to handle him. He's dead. Okay, there we go. Finally. All right, there's only one zombie left that we know of. There's probably going to be more that are going to spawn eventually. Unfortunately enough for us. Okay, this uh, this guy right here can start building. So we're going to go for that resource right there. Afterwards, we can start building up uh, a bunch of stuff uh, for the cities itself. At least for now, it looks like we might be cleared off for a while of zombies. I hope so, at least. I'm going to go for pottery. Just make sure that that is going to be done. We uh, need a new civic, boys. Let's uh, take a look really quick. Which one wanna go? And, uh, do I want to go for? Uh, choose a new civic. Early empires could be really good. I think uh, this right here only takes two turns. But I think I definitely want to go for early empire right now. Make sure that uh, we do get something going on. Over Xeon, we could work on a, a trader. But I'm going to actually quickly build one. Just so we can actually equip it for the next turn. And what we're going to be working on right now is definitely some warrior units. Yeah, they're telling me the same thing right now. I think uh, warrior units are the best option right now. Because there's so many. There's only so many right now. Uh, so many zombies uh, against us. That's kind of uh, it's kind of pretty bad. Not going to lie, boys. It's pretty bad. Okay, so what else do we have? We have a cheat that we can use, right? I think uh, we might want to use... I'm going to have a scout next turn. I want uh, I might want to upgrade this scout right here. Give him a bonus or something. That's, that might be what I want to do, boys. Then again, I have... Okay, so I have one builder for each doll. I think I'm good on that science. So I think, yeah, I just want to upgrade this guy right here. Just like that. That's going to be my boost. Alpine region can see through woods and jungle. Can move after attacking. I'm going to do Gorilla so it can move after attacking would be pretty great. Need to uncover more right here. This, uh, the, these are the Koreans. Seems like they might be tempted to attack us probably, boys. I hope they are, they are not going to do that. Because I'm, uh, I'm well above my pay grade right now with the goddamn uh, zombies. So it's hard enough for me to handle them. I don't want to have to handle with... Uh, the, the Koreans as well, you know. Took about uh, 20 minutes for one turn to go by, boys. That's great. That's really great. My game, my, literally, my video is gonna take two hours to edit out for uh, literally a 30 minute video. That's just great, boys. Can tell you how much I like playing this game. Unbelievable. Like, I have literally the worst PC of the goddamn world right now. I don't know what's going on. All right, anyways, let's keep it moving. This is going to be my last turn right here. I got to figure some things out. I got to figure out how to make my my this game just go a little bit more smoother or something faster. I upgraded, like I downgraded some some uh, uh, stuff, right? Visuals, everything. Everything possible is to the downside. I don't know how it's still doing this right here. As you can see, it's not loading up. Nothing's working. I mean, it's so slow. Everything is so goddamn slow. It's not like I, I have everything on my PC. I just, it really is my PC just uh, complete garbage right now. Complete garbage of a PC right now, boys. I just can't play games like these. You know, boys, I think I'm starting to lose my goddamn mind. I'm about to really lose it. I can't, I just can't right now. Like, look at it. I'm pressing a button. It, it It's loading up two minutes later. Like, I'm literally losing my mind. Either this game is really unstable, or it's just the goddamn P my PC just... I think it's both. I think it's just my PC being absolute garbage, and the game being unstable. Like, 
It's, uh, it's unbearable. It's so unbearable. I can't even play the game, boys. I gotta tell you. We're at the point of the calendar where there's basically no games coming out. There's literally no games uh, happening right now. So, so I gotta figure some things out, boys. Uh, I'm gonna try and find some games that are actually stable enough for me to play on this god-awful PC. Uh, uh, otherwise, uh, other than that, I don't know what to tell you. I guess, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys for the next video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you didn't enjoy it. Keep it easy.